Good morning and welcome back to the extension we're building for free from our parents. Today we are going to be absolutely whamming up this block work and then building a small brick pillar there and that is going to be a job well done. And my own cameraman today, Drew, is on holiday. Charlie is off cutting hair somewhere. So I'm just getting set up. I'm going to show you how I like to set out my block work. As you can see, I like to run it out dry. This way, I just know exactly what cuts I have on the end. So here, this is actually going to be a 330, which is perfect. I've also thrown on plenty of mixers. So there is going to be no idle time today. We are just going to be whamming this up as quick as possible. Before we start, I need to bed my tray on, 100 mil tray. And I'll show you how we like to do that and how I like to set out my DPC as well. So let's crack on. Always cover up your compo if it's in the sun. Saves it from going off. Oh, right, sucks being your own cameraman. So we've just bedded on our 100mm DPC, something I like to do when I've got this 450 DPC built already into the brickwork, I always flap it up and lock it into my tires, which are on course number six. Holds it perfect. Now, for anyone who don't really know what the DPC does and how it's built into the wall, I'll explain to you now. The block work is going all the way there. Let's move this down for a second. So the block work is going all the way up. Behind this wall, we've got weep holes, okay? So all this dust, this DPC gets built into the block work, just like that, okay? And then any moisture that comes down, hits this, comes down, and straight out the weep holes. Little example for you. So it's built in, hits there, and goes out of our weep holes. leave my DPC overhanging a little bit just so if any inspector pops by they can see that we've actually used it. Luckily for me I can just say watch your YouTube videos mate. Um, <laughs> right because I've already ran this thing out dry I know exactly how this corner is going to work so I'm going to wallop up a corner here. Quick time lapse and I'll be back with you in about 10 seconds. Yes, yes. Right, so we've just won this up to nine high. Slightly big bed joints because we are following the gauge for the house. So we're keeping with ties, we're keeping with the brickwork. Like to use a six foot level to range in all of my block work. And then I also like using my new IMAX level just to, uh, well, it's just a good four foot level really. So we've built this up. We are now gonna head over here set this out because we know how I bond this and yeah we'll be blasting again so I'm just going to keep pushing we've got one full barrel left and I've got one in the mixer key is when you're working on your own always stay organized easy 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 Right then, so this is how we are currently looking. We've got a corner here up 10 courses. We've got a corner there up nine courses, pretty much ready for lintel. Normally I don't build massive corners like this and this. However, I didn't want to have a small corner and another small corner on such a hot day and all my compo just slowly going off. I'd rather work consistently just using two spots. So we are gonna blast this up now and yeah, that's it.
There we go. Pretty much wrapped up for today. It's only just gone two o'clock, started laying about half nine-ish. Laboring for myself, pretty much most loading out for myself, apart from my dad who got me a few blocks. Started this bit of block work there, but nothing major. Uh, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and get that block work and brick work up and that little pillar up there. But yeah, I couldn't be bothered to kill myself today because it's absolutely scorching. So on that note, I will catch you tomorrow morning, probably a bit later as well, about 10. It's the setup I have been using on this job. What it is, is a bit of 4B1 bolted in to the wall with some um, star screws, you know, the rapiers we like to use. Um, all I've done is just plumbed up from my splash all the way up and bolted that to the wall exactly where my face brick work's gonna be. I've got a corner block on that end and then all I do is just slot, where's the camera there, this, slot this behind, I just use anything, little nail or anything like that and then it's easy to blast in. So really quick way to set up a little profile pillar here all I need to do take the wood off and we are all good to go quick point up there we go spot on a couple of little halves kicking out nothing I can't fix but yes overall a really really good method just so quick yes yes so we have just pointed this panel up it's looking really nice what i've started doing especially on these bricks is using a sponge to brush them down and it does an absolutely fantastic job there we go all done so all we need to do is back it in it's a one block pillar going all the way up and then we are out of here done by nine o'clock which ain't bad is it i really should have stayed yesterday but it's a bit too warm right let's crack on <laughs> Sorry, it's so funny because normally I'm used to Drew behind the camera, not my mum. Uh, right, hello. So we have pretty much wrapped up this weekend. Saturday, Sunday shift is complete. We got all the block work up to nine courses. Follow me, Julie. Follow me. Um, this is ready for lintel sews that. So the next time we come here, uh, the scaffold is going to be up. And we're going to dob on the lintels, an extra six courses, and then we're going to be finding the wall plate, putting the wall plate on, and then it'll be trusses. So I'm saying another, hopefully, three working days. <laughs> I've got, hopefully, another three working days. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, on that note, like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram, because I upload daily there, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot, Mum. <laughs>